Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. In this video, I want to point out an important design difference between the engaging and non-engaging Gold Adapt UCLA abutments for the Nobel Conical Connection implants. Engaging UCLA abutments are used for single unit restorations, whereas non-engaging abutments are used for splinted restorations. And when looking at the Gold Adapt abutments for conical connection, the obvious difference between the two is that the engaging version has a hex connection that engages with the interface of the implant, while the non-engaging version does not. But there's another important difference in the interface of these two abutments. When an engaging gold adapt is placed, it nestles completely inside of the implant, creating a platform switch at the interface. The non-engaging version, however, actually has a ledge that rests on top of the implant platform. That ledge provides some extra stability to make up for what is lost by removal of the hex. Because of this design, it's important to plan ahead for cases that will require these non-engaging abutments. And the key to this is to use the correct healing abutment. If a standard healing abutment is used, the platform switch design leaves a space at the interface. And if the top of the implant is at or above bone level, tissue is going to grow into that space really quickly. And if the implant is subcrestal, bone is most likely going to grow into that space eventually. This extra tissue or bone would cover the top of the implant and could cause an interference when trying to seat the non-engaging abutment. To prevent this, Nobel makes a special healing abutment for bridge cases. Similar to the non-engaging abutments, these healing abutments feature a ledge that rests on top of the implant, which blocks tissue and bone growth. Additionally, Nobel also offers non-engaging impression copings that can be used for these cases. Unlike the healing abutments, it's not required to use these specific impression copings as they won't impact tissue or bone growth. They will, however, make it easier to take the impression on cases with significant divergence between implants. Like the non-engaging gold adapt abutments, these impression copings have a ledge that covers the implants and therefore should only be used if the bridge version of the healing abutment was used. It's important to note that if the impression is taken with the non-engaging impression coping, and then it's later determined that it will not be possible to use the non-engaging gold adapt abutments, the impression will need to be retaken with regular engaging impression copings. And this is due to the fact that the non-engaging impression copings don't transfer the hex position, so it would be impossible for the lab to create a model that matches the rotational orientation of the implant. And this would create a situation where the position of the abutment on the model analog would not match how it seats on the actual implant. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.